what's going on with the uh, Joe Budden podcast. Those are men of integrity. Let them figure it out. Get them some space. They're not pressed for money. The issue is not about money. Matter of fact, they got their own money. They've been doing it for six or seven years. It was about to come to this point where everybody just needs to go to their different corners and come back again. But I highly doubt whatever they're going to do is going to continue. going on y'all welcome to another edition of the bts i show i'm your host christopher j as you saw in the lead up to this yes we're going to talk about the joe budden podcast now before we get into any of that you guys know what you need to do subscribe to my page follow me on social media and yes if you go listen to my quick hits video we will explain that and we are still on the road to a thousand subscribers. Once we reach our goal, I'm gonna give one lucky person $100. Just one person, $100 once we hit a thousand subscribers. And so you guys know I'm a man of my words, I'll give away $50 once we get to 500, okay? And now, if you wanna lose weight, gain weight in the healthiest way possible, FNX is the way to go. The links are located in my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook bio, since you guys are watching this on YouTube, it's located in the description. Load up your shopping carts. Once you do, and you get to check out, the promo code is BTSI for 15% off. Again, BTSI, 15% off. Now, let's talk about the Joe Button Podcast. Uh, a lot of y'all was worried. Now, granted, shout out to Ish, shout out to Ice. I did enjoy the whole uncle, old man vibes a little bit, but I do understand that it doesn't compare to Rory and Ma. Speaking of which, um, let's talk about some key points that I felt that was uh, important. Uh, Ma believed that the show... And this is not going to be no particular order. So if I'm a little bit everywhere on this one, I apologize. Uh, Mom believes that the show should have paused until further notice. Now, Joe got got offended by that because he believed that this is his life work. Uh, you can't sit. He can't sit in his feelings as Rory and Maul did. And Joe believes that they abandoned the audience. Now, let me say this. Um, I hear where Ma's coming from. Like, they should have stopped the show and uh, figured this issue out. Because six weeks has gone by since Rory and Ma was on the podcast. Six weeks. Ma believes that they should have stopped recording and figured it out. Now, in my mind, I'm thinking, yeah, you're asking the viewers a lot to wait six weeks. But you... Truth be told, the people behind the scenes, the Savons of the world, the Eric Erickson's, the uh, Scream Man, they can't go a whole month and a half without a paycheck. Now, they believe that whatever they was arguing about could have been rectified within a week or so. I hear you. Probably so. But it's been six and a half weeks. The show must go on. Even Park said that. Everybody got to get paid. He got to get paid. So, I understand what um joe was talking about like oops i'm not doing that i was like hey, if i stop all of this all my life's work would have been for nothing so i do get that because mom felt like there was replaceable and all this other stuff it's like i he, he has a point but dude this is business and one thing they talked about is they put friendship over business that sounds good in theory, but in some cases, you need to make sure business is taken care of before you guys just jump back into friendship. You got to make sure 
uh, two plus two equals four. Or you gotta make sure this goes right here. You gotta make sure these obligations are taken care of. See, once you have the business in autopilot, you have plenty of time to be friends and hang around us, all this other stuff. But if that's not taken care of, um, the business is gonna fall. And everybody's gonna go their own separate ways, i.e. them, six weeks, nothing. But here's what Joe, Joe did and was fucked up. Because Joe told Rory, hey man, I'll take a few podcasts off. Ma approached him like, you should have done that. And in Ma's thinking, because Joe believes he was caping for Rory, Ma was caping for the show. And his taking on this was, if you're going to make a decision like that, that needs to be within a group, within all of us. Like, we need to come to this decision together. Can't go roll and make a decision like that. Like I said, the business is always going to be business over the friendship. And Joe made that executive decision. He made the right decision. I just want to let you know. He made the right decision, but how he went about it was a little bit off. You might have want to uh, include certain people in your thought process, but Joe did it. Matter of fact, he told Ma, and I quote, this show is none of your business. Now that's disrespectful. Ma's a better man than me because I probably would have smacked the fire out of Joe for saying something like that. But to Joe's credit, he admitted that maybe that was the wrong thing to say. He shouldn't have said that. Matter of fact, he went as far as to apologize. The good news is, like I said, they're men. They're going to figure it out. They just needed, they came back. They had like a six or seven hour conversation to hash things out. And now the boys are back. It was a great, it was a great podcast. They did clarify a lot of things. That I know some of the fans wanted to hear. Now me, I had an idea what was going on without them being so transparent. I could, I'm able to read between the lines. But like I said, it wasn't about money. It's all about respect and transparency. And once you have that, and matter of fact, that's, that's a life lesson. Respect and transparency will go a long way in business and in your professional life. I'm glad that they got that worked out and they're back together other than that people my name is christopher j i will talk to you guys later peace out